Hi everyone, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and today we're going on a test drive with the all new lithium powered GoGo Endurance. That's right, we're doing a virtual reality test drive which means we're using a 360 camera. You can actually take your smartphone, tilt it forward, back, left and right to change the viewpoint of your camera angle on your computer or smartphone. If you're on a computer, you just click and drag to change the direction of the camera angle. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on. I'm gonna put the speed all the way up so you can really feel what it's like to get top speed going through some bumpy terrain here. We're at a park. There's a little trail here, but it's not the most even concrete trail. There's lots of bumps. It's very une uneven. So you're gonna see that the suspension really helps out. And I don't really feel much of those bumps at all because of the suspension. This is a really great mobility scooter if you're planning on going on light terrain. It's not really meant for off-road, but it can go on grass as I could show you here just fine. However, it's not made to be on grass all the time. If you need to traverse from a sidewalk onto a um, little piece of grass, that's okay. But primarily, this is meant for hard surfaces. Uh, you can go on very well-maintained grass, no problem. Like what you see here, it's actually very compact grass that I'm approaching. And if I do a U-turn over this grass, it's really no problem because it's very hard and well-maintained. But if you go over grass, it's very, um, very long grass and it's very jaggedy, the terrain, it's not gonna do as well. You might wanna consider something more aggressive and made for off-road. This again is perfect for indoor use and you can use it on sidewalks, nature trails, things of that nature. Again, this is the all new Pride Mobility GoGo Endurance. This is a really hot new product being that it's part of the GoGo family, which is the most well-known mobility scooter probably in history. The GoGo Mobility Scooter has been around longer than any other mobility scooter and it has a great warranty. It's built rock solid and Pride Mobility does a great job at standing behind their product and their customers should you ever need to file a warranty claim if you need replacement parts. Pride Mobility is also really well known for getting replacement parts out fast and keeping them in stock for a really long time. Now, enough about the actual manufacturer. The scooter, I wanna get back to the handlebar here or the tiller is what it's technically referred to as, is a single-handed use tiller. What that means is if you look at my right hand here, I'm using it to go forward. But if I wanna go backwards, all I need to do is stop, which is as simple as letting go of the, tr the trigger here. So this trigger or handle for the throttle is gonna be able to be used in two ways. I could use my right hand to pull back and that's gonna go forward. As Soon as I let go of the throttle, the brakes kick in and it won't move. But now if I push forward on that throttle, it goes backwards. So. Basically, I can use my right hand independently to control this mobility scooter at the same time. If you want to use it, your left hand only, you can just push forward. It's inverted, so now I'm pushing instead of pulling to go forward. Or if I wanna go in reverse, I pull. And as you can see, as I pull, this one's automatically going forward because it's kind of like a teeter system, a, a seesaw system. So if I pull back here, the forward, the left one goes forward. If I push forward on the right to go reverse, the left handle pulls back. So that's how the controlling uh, system or the steering system works rather. Again, single-handed use, you do have a horn. It's pretty loud, but not a train horn. You can actually install a train horn if you really want to. We've had a few customers do that. Uh, it will void your warranty though, so I don't recommend it. Now, a couple of other things about this mobility scooter, because it is a four wheel mobility scooter, it's gonna be very stable. You're not gonna have issues um, as much as you would with a three wheel. With the four wheel, however, you see, I just had to do a three point turn because it did not have the turning radius that is sharp enough for me to do a U-turn here unless I go really wide. And that's kind of one of the pros and cons of choosing between a three wheel and a four wheel scooter. The four wheel does not turn as sharp, but it's very stable. So when you're going off road or on grass, or if you're going up and down a ramp, the four wheel option is always a little bit more stable. 
anyways i think that about wraps up our virtual test drive like i said this is the brand new GoGo -Go Endurance. I'm even going on some soft sand here mixed with grass. It's holding up very well. We offer this product tax-free, free shipping. If you have any questions, give us a call. We'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching this video and being a part of this immersive test drive. Have a great day.